Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege. Delegate has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ella Josephine Baker was born in Norfolk, Virginia in 1903. At the age of seven, her family moved to Littleton, North Carolina. Miss Baker's grandmother was born a slave, but she was a resilient and prideful woman. This resilience and strength was inherited by Ella Baker. Ms. Baker graduated as valedictorian from Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina in 1927, and upon graduation moved to Harlem in New York City. Ms. Baker dedicated her work to uplift the voices of African American people. She became the national director of the Young Negroes Cooperative League, whose mission was to develop black economic power throughout the states. She went on to join President Franklin D. Roosevelt's Works Progress Administration, Workers' Education Project, teaching courses on consumer rights, labor history, and African history. While living in Harlem, Ms. Baker regularly attended lectures and meetings at the Young Women's Christian Association, an organization dedicated to eliminating racism and empowering women. She also founded the Negro History Club at Harlem Library. Ms. Baker understood the power of the people and used her influence to promote grassroots approaches and local action to generate social change. In December 1940, Ms. Baker joined the NAACP, traveling throughout the South, raising money, recruiting members, and organizing local chapters. Just two, two years later, Ella Baker was named Director of Branches, making her the highest ranking woman in the NAACP organization. As director of branches, Ms. Baker was able to implement an organizational structure that drew strength from the bottom up. She was able to decentralize the leadership structure of the NAACP and funnel more support to activist campaigns at the local level. In 1957, Ms. Baker moved to Atlanta, Georgia to help organize Dr. Martin Luther King's Southern Christian Leadership Conference. There, she implemented her same bottom-up approach, working with activists in Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi to organize voter registration campaigns. A few years later, Ms. Baker heard about the Greensboro sit-ins that were occurring a few hundred miles away. She left Atlanta in 1960 to help organize the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Ms. Baker saw the power of these student demonstrations and helped in order to keep the momentum going and teach young activists how to successfully organize their movements. In 1961, SNCC members joined with activists from the Congress of Racial Equality to successfully organize the Freedom Rides, an effort to bring national focus on racism in the Deep South and register more black voters throughout the South. Ella Baker's legacy demonstrates the power of grassroots organizing to make a real difference in people's lives. We must all remain active participants in our democracy and work together to fight racial injustice wherever we see it. Thank you. The delegate from Washington, Delegate Pillion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.